turns the rust on a dull blade. Yes, you and me, fishbones. <laughs> I think we need to kill Jinx. Let's zero mana kill Jinx. Business as usual. And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Sivir Renekton. And this is going to be a vulnerable heavy list uh, because both of our champions really like being able to challenge different things. Of course, Sivir has the quick attack and so it's going to be killing stuff very easily if it's challenging things. But then you have Renekton. Renekton wants you to challenge enemies, right? It, it gets the plus two plus one every single time it challenges an enemy. Um, and it, of course, it also has the Overwhelm, and it can help level up if you are challenging smaller things. So if we're going to have Sivir Renekton together, uh, then we're going to want to challenge things. So let's get some Vulnerable in here. We got Hired Gun, we got Rock Hopper with the Roiling Sands, um, and we have Merciless Hunter. All those things are going to be able to give things Vulnerable. And then we're going to be playing, then we're going to be using Bilgewater for the list. So Bilgewater, uh, the list... If you haven't seen this card, it says grant an enemy vulnerable. So again, we can give something vulnerable, but this is where it's really good. If it already has vulnerable, then the strongest ally starts a free attack challenging it. So we can get our Renekton to get free attacks challenging enemies, um, which could be pretty awesome. Or, you know, maybe our strongest enemy or strongest ally, sorry, is going to be Sivir or Ruin Runner, any of those, but... Renekton is really where it would pay off. So, you know, maybe Renekton's already challenged once and it's like a 6-5 and then we get to have a challenge again uh, this round or if it's leveled up, you know, it, it gets really, really big. We also have like the Shape Stones that we can give Renekton plus three plus one first and then play the list and then have it get that free attack. That could be pretty cool. Yeah, but besides that, we got a little bit of removal with like Bone Skewer. We've got some card advantage with Ruinous Path, Preservarium, uh, a little more removal, siphoning strike, and then we have some extra attacks with Citrus Courier, where if we uh, do get to do any kind of nexus damage, whether it's from just attacking or um, you know maybe we kill something in Ruinous Path and that's going to be doing nexus damage, then we get to rally and heal our allies. Healing Renekton is a very good one to heal, so I think that Citrus Courier works really well with the Renekton and gives you just a little bit of nexus healing for racing. All right, so let's give it a try. This, this list looks pretty good. It's from Kordak. The only thing is I kind of wish we were playing some number of exhausts. I love having exhaust with Renekton, and I think exhaust could go well with the list and stuff like that. It's like maybe over some number of like Bone Skewer or Ruinous Path or something. I don't know. I kind of want like a couple of these, but let's give it a try. Well, let's play some Sivir Renekton. Here we go. Hey, what's up? Uh, I don't know. Uh, Liban? I'm not sure exactly how to pronounce your username there with the different numbers, but maybe Liban says, I found you on YouTube. I'm not going to lie. I really enjoy your content and dapper style. Oh, it's Bandit. Okay, cool. Well, welcome to the stream, Bandit. Really happy to have you here. And uh, yeah, feel free to hang out and chat with everybody and got any questions or anything, send them my way. All right, we got Draven Jinx. So we are just playing the four Broken Shrima cards in here. We got Treasure Keeper, Merciless Hunter, Sivir, Ruin Runner. So that's always a good start. I kind of like this hand. I'm going to just keep it. I know the Shape Stone's only plus one, plus one, but it's just one spell mana. We're playing against Hyper Aggro, Draven Jinx. So having one drop, two drop, important. Bone Skewer could be good. Anything else? <laughs> huh. Guess I Merciless Hunter. I kind of want to save Merciless Hunter, but I guess I also have Bone Skewer. Yeah, let's Merciless Hunter. This thing. Yeah. Gonna find a gift for an Ecton! Right, Arda? Anything else? Make it worth my while. Find your own. Ooh. Son 
That's a card I wasn't expecting. Time Winder. All right, discarded a Poro Cannon. Honor is the rest on a dull blade. Yes, you and me, Fishbones. I think we need to kill Jinx. Let's zero mana kill Jinx. Business as usual. I don't know if I want to get rid of the House Spider or not. Like, you know, trade Merciless Hunter for House Spider. I kind of think that answer is no. Yeah, the answer is no. That's a good card. After leveling you up, 18. All right, yeah, we've gotten rid of two Jinx. Shake what you want without mercy. Very happy with that. I stand for Noxus. Danger pays. After them. Yeah, and I guess I just do this trade. I wish I had the mana for both Waking Sands and Bone Skewer, like where I could have played both of those right there. I have the best job. Would you look at this place? So kind of like forcing them to discard their last card in hand. Right, it's so like they're going to go Spinning Axe discard to kill Sivir. Oh, it's a survival skills, okay. But I like getting that out of their hands, and then we do this. What's up, Aroas? I got your Aroas, I got your uh, Zillion Swain deck on the docket. If it's made of sand, I can write. And of course, they don't want to play anything because I have, <laughs> you know, these Roiling Sands. Oh, that was such a good draw. Oh, that was a good draw, okay. All right, well, I'm not, I, I need to do this right away then. I'm not gonna wait on the, play the Awakening Sands. I don't want them to be able to, you know, use a burn spell and kill my Renekton first. This is gonna hurt for you. Huh. You. A little surprised by those blocks. Boom, ba boom. Always fun to say. Man, Augmented Experiment are so good. Alright, so we've killed two Jinx, one Draven, but they've gone through a lot of cards. We only got 15 left in the deck.
I hope they take the damage from one of these. These augmented experimenters have been really good though. Because you know they killed the Renekton and then also drew six cards. <laughs> but you've been playing Siv you know, we had Sivir. And Sivir kinda broken. So if I take it and do no blocking, I go to eight. Doesn't sound that bad. That's what I'm talking about. Sivir kind of broken. And we are 1 and 0. Oh. The real treasure is friendship. That's the gold. Yeah, out of the way survival skills is cool. Yeah, it, it does work together. Not a bad idea at all. All right, we'll just get rid of our two mana spells for now. We'll find other two mana spells, like Preservarium. We haven't played in the Earth board in a while. If it's medicine, I can write. Gonna catch the sky. <laughs> uh, you want prediction? Okay, so to be honest, this is not a very good card to challenge with Sivir. Because the Sivir will strike first. Oh, I guess it, it's only whenever it heals it gets the plus two plus zero, not if it survives damage. Danger Still, I'm going to just do this. That's a mistake. Maybe I need to just be challenged with the Sivir, but I, I don't know. You know, Sivir. Oh, Sivir is important. I'm used to this deck playing Tom Kench, and not. Oh, that's so good. Oh, that's so good. Because it regens here, I thought that was about to die. That's all right. Tom Kench and not Avalanche. Don't stand in my way. Business as usual. Mm. So you can save like one of these. Time to make some coin. Like assuming they have Astral Protection, they save one of them, and I would think that they would want to save the Broadback Protector. I think it's gonna be difficult to save both of them. Oh, 
I guess I should just do this. But just two mana. There we go. All right. Got to win. Two and oh. Another victory to fill the coffers. Summer, yeah. I like it. Hecarim. And they got a lot of XP on Hecarim. Look at that. Like, they are a Hecarim champ. I like it. I'm proud of my opponent. Um. You've seen this Tr Trundle Hecarim deck on ladder before? I have not. This is going to be my first time experiencing a Trundle Hecarim. So I don't know exactly what to expect. But I am glad my opponent's doing it. If it's made of sand, I can Dude, these Shurima cards are busted. Why don't we play Shurima more? Just all these games are just curving out with like, like look at like Treasure Seeker, Rock Hopper, Merciless Hunter, Sivir. That's a good curve. I could play the Preservarium. You know what? Let's do that. Let's play Preservarium. On a dull blade. Um, what would be the best 10 drop in the deck? Transforming the Trundle's Pillar with the Theo Remitter. It's Sith Sithria is the best one, but then Atacon is the second best. Like those are the two that you're really aiming for. But I think Sithria is the best one. So even though they took two damage, they were the source of the two damage, so we do not have plunder enabled. Even though they took two damage this round. King of Trolls, we still got a lot of cards. Gonna make a meal of them. I'll knock them dead. Considering blocking with Sivir. That's a good card to have. Renekton, I got something special for you. If it bleeds, it's special enough. Because I can also, like, I'm definitely considering having the 5 2 challenge. To the that is an option. It's about 13. Feast would be disappointing. Okay, so I need eight, that's twenty-one. That's right. Run! No surrender. I get violent when I'm bored. Good to know. Let's talk about your tab. Alright, good. Where's our Vile Feast? And Ruinous, Ruinous Path finished the job. Man, Sivir is so good. <laughs> Sivir is kind of ridiculous. All right, Draven is real. I think our spell shield units are going to be important in these games. Can't really complain about this hand. I could see getting rid of the hired gun because they have a lot of three health things and so it doesn't match up there, but more vulnerable, the better for Renekton. Yeah, we got Shapestone. I think I'm gonna just keep this hand. There's no Sivir or Ruin Runner, so it's not perfect.
Boom, boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah. Last to Nash Lame buys me a new sale. So my thinking here is that even if like the flame chompers gets roiling sands, yeah, they do that static shock. <clears throat> my thinking is this is probably worth. So I can spend one spell mana to kill the boom boom boom, and that's honestly probably worth. Or I could just ride a negation, and they don't draw a card, and they don't get the extra target. Nah, that's not worth. It. This is worth though. Um, the O2 having vulnerable that is good for Renekton. giving it something to challenge. I really hope they don't have the combo that does four damage. Oh, I guess they just have that thing. That also does four damage. But it's just it's just not really great to play Higher Gun or Merciless Hunter right there. Sent the Arachnoid Sentry combo, that's the combo that I was thinking about. All right, we got Ruin Runner. I would have had to I guess so. Sorry, I would have had to, you know, have ride negation also with that. Oh, thank you. That's a good card to draw. This place reeks of rot and death. Smells like adventure and money, you mean? Yummy. Okay, so they got five cards in hand. I have five cards as well, two in play, three in hand. Perfect. The party has arrived. Happy to keep drawing um, spell shield units all day. Draven out. 24. Mmm, great card. Great card. Scared of a fair fight? I don't know, I'm like never playing this Jagged Butcher. Yeah, that was that was a great card dealing with those spell shields. Business as usual. Time to make some coin. They blocked the wrong thing. They still took three overwhelm damage. They could have saved a lot more life. Like they only saved three life by blocking that. They would have saved seven. Would have blocked four. Would have saved four extra health by blocking the sever. I have to be wary about um, cards like like Tribeam and Propulator, and so I let, let the Mystic Shot happen because I'm worried about Tribeam and Propulator. Scorched Earth. 
still pretty dead. Again, still just much more scared of Tri-Beam. Good call by me. Wow, no attack. Kind of feel like you got to attack there. I wouldn't block. I was like, I would have just taken eight. All right, GGs. Save that right negation for that tri beam, and we are four and O oh. Sivir. Still too good. Okay, we got uh, Draven Ezreal again. I, let's go ahead and try this matchup out yet again. I like our hand. I shall keep. Got Preservarium on two, and then Hunter, Sivir, Hunter. We could get ran over, right? They have like Ballistic Bot or House Spider or something like that on two, and then like Draven on three, because they have the attack token round three, and then they got, you know, removal and all that kind of stuff. Like, could get ran over, but hopefully we don't. Yeah, they did overtune Sivir. And then having the Treasure Seeker was also just kind of just such a such a good card for a Sivir deck. So, so now you have yeah, four overtuned cards that just work perfectly well together and just kind of go all go together and all on different spots of the curve. It's just, it's like the perfect combination. Treasure Seeker, Merciless Hunter, Sivir, and Ruin Runner. Well, it's a bad sign. That's not what I wanted to see, House Spider. Yeah, this is what I was <laughs> saying, that House Spider into Draven. Things could go bad. I didn't really want to block that that house spider because they spinning axe discard something else. Kill it. Force them to use like an actual spell. Honor is the rust on a dull blade. Business as usual. That's right. Run. So could he use the list for a free attack? But I'll kind of save that for next round, like where maybe next round we can go Hunter plus the list. Ooh, Rockhopper. Rockhopper is intriguing. Witness perfection, meatbags. Art is gonna make a meal of them. Progress. Could go ruinous, you know, ruinous path, 3-3, three, three, ravenous butcher. This round. If we don't need the shape stones. Well then. Oh, okay, I was gonna say. I think I'm gonna do that. Good card to have. I want them to not have any information about the list whenever they're making their other determinations. It's a good house spider, though. Because that gives them good blockers for, like, open attack. Bone skewer, eh? Business as usual. I can use the shape stone and prevent the one damage right there, you know, do, do three to them and prevent the one damage, but I'm just gonna 
let that happen. I now have you know, have the six mana for Citrus Courier. If we want to do that. Who needs a map? Idiot foreigners in over their heads? Why do you ask? And then we got Bone Skewer Citrus Courier combo also where we can put you know like we can bone skewer the citrus courier back on top. Time is money. And Yeah, Rad, go ahead and do the predictions. Alright, so discard tribeam. Danger pays. So that's their first target for Ezreal. I don't miss. <laughs> Looks like you just missed. Would you look at this place? I've been very happy with the list, like that card with the free attacks. Oh, I don't have the mana for right negation. All right, fine. Actually, quite worried about Tribeam and Probulator right now. Okay, no Tribeam. So I was keeping both shapes down available just in case. Alright, so they of course know about. Well, one, they can't take it because it's lethal, but two, they know about the Citrus Courier, so they can't take the damage because of that either. And so I guess I could have just led with Courier. But that's fine. Keep right, right of negation up. I'm not sure how they're going to win this game. <laughs> I was, you know, debating in my head, like, whether or not it's worth it to just, you know, to do that and block. And so there we go. That's a 5-0. We've been talking about it the last few days, but man, Sivir is good. And these Shurima cards are really good. And vulnerable is just an awesome keyword because, you know, determining how... Uh, not only that you get to block, but then also how your opponent blocks, especially when you have these kind of threats like quick attack with a huge quick attack unit with spell shield where they can't can't get rid of it. And then it just mows down all their their units with having vulnerable. Just a wonderful, wonderful combination. And so Renekton, Sivir, Ruin Runner, Merciless Hunter, Rock Hopper was, you know, Rock Hopper was perfect in here. Treasure Seeker, man, just, you know, really good cards putting put them together, control on the board. I think that this is kind of the best stuff to be doing right now in Legends of Runeterra. I think, you know, I've been very impressed with the different Sivir decks, um, and this one, no different. I really liked the list in here, being able to have that uh, free attack with the Vulnerable, especially with Sivir. Man, this is just zero mana, kill something with Sivir. Um, that, that was just ridiculous. We had that, you know, multiple times. Like, like round four, we had the attack token round four, we play a Sivir, my opponent plays Jinx, because, you know, we, we tap out, play Sivir, we have no mana left. So they play Jinx thinking that they're okay, and then boom, zero mana. Now your Jinx is vulnerable with Sivir. It's, it's dead. Just zero mana, kill Jinx. Man, that was ridiculous. So that was good. Um, I don't know. Bone Skewer was okay, but I don't know if it's it's really that necessary. Again, I think that we could use some exhaust in here, honestly. I still think that. I wasn't really that impressed with Ruinous Path, because uh, it's, you know, I don't know. I don't... Yeah, I think that I just kind of want some exhaust. Like, it's it's so cheap and so effective, and it's just great with both champions. Don't want a bunch of them, but maybe a couple. I like having one quicksand. I like having one ride of negation. Um, Siphoning Strike was fine, but honestly, maybe not that necessary. Maybe, like, if especially if you have exhaust. Like, maybe exhaust could just be, like, a one-mana Siphoning Strike, basically. Uh, that could be a lot more cost-effective and a lot, more, a lot easier to enable. So I could see going, like, two Bone Skewer no siphoning strike and getting like two exhaust in here I, I think that that could honestly be uh pretty good but there we go that was sivir renekton also jagged butcher wasn't impressive um maybe yeah i don't know i could definitely see doing kind of anything else with this card uh didn't really need it um i like the citrus courier a lot though citrus courier looked good 
I don't know exactly what I would recommend for the Jagged Butcher. I think you want some bodies. Uh, I don't know if you want, like, Sand Spinner, because we have too many fours. Um, I don't know what body you want. I mean, you can even play, like, Boxtopus in this kind of deck if you want. Yeah, I don't know what you would want, but... Anyway, that's just, like, a little thing, though, with the exhaust and still try it out. I mean, probably shouldn't change too much stuff, considering it was a 5-0 deck, you know, but uh, some of the uh, the other cards could maybe be be changed, but... Yeah, 5-0 there with Sivir Renekton. All right, so those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Feel free to leave those comments and feel, feel free to try this one out and let me know how it's going for y'all on YouTube. Whenever y'all try out the decks and leave those comments, and let, you know, let me know if it's strong or if, you know, like, you know, what your experiences are. Because how I just play five games with each one of these decks and I just play tons and tons of different decks... I don't always have all of the uh, insights of y'all being able to play more games with the deck. So always leave those comments and let me know how it goes for you. All right, but that's going to be it here for Siver Renekton. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.